So last time I made a game in just one hour, but what can I make in 48 hours? How high are the expectations? These questions will be answered later, but I want to go over my schedule. I'm going to be working on it 12 hours a day for 4 days, so let's get to work. So I used Mixer Mode to get uh, the Demogorgon bootleg character, and I also got some animations from Mixer Mode. Just trying to get this game actually done in 48 hours instead of actually making a 3D model. So it was uh, pretty easy just getting the character and the animations. So my idea was to just make a horror game in 48 hours, but then I came up with the idea of making it Stranger Things. The idea is that it's in Stranger Things, the universe, and you're a scientist escaping the lab from like the beginning of Stranger Things. Um, I, I, I didn't have to label it Stranger Things, I just did. So I then made this title screen which was called Stranger Things, and it had the science lab on from the TV show. To also save time, I used the first person template because I didn't want to do some like movement inputs. Even if I did, I would have just copied the first person template. So uh, first thing I did was import the characters and animations. So I started on the main menu because when it comes to main menus, they kind of have to work. Like I said in the last video, uh, if you don't like, if they don't work, then you can't exactly play the game unless you just open the game up and you're already in it. But main menus kind of have to work, so I thought like, let's just get this done first. Because in the one hour game, I made the mistake of doing that last. The only buttons in the main menu was play, options, and quit. Pretty simple, uh, I didn't want to do some sort of saving system, I just went, I just did those three. I then started making the level which would be called Hawkins. Uh, there was gonna be, there's gonna be two more levels, just gonna be Hawkins 2 and 3. I then worked on the functionality of the play uh, options and, or not options, and quit button. So like most horror games, you have a flashlight, so I started on making a flashlight that would drain your power from the flashlight, so then you'd eventually run out of power, and the idea was that you're going to be able to pick up power just off the ground, it was just random power sparks, I don't know, I was going to do something with that, but I didn't, didn't have enough time. I then added infinity blade effects for the power. I then added nav mesh volume because if you can't really have any AI move around without this, AI doesn't walk in through a building, you know? They don't want them walking through buildings. So to make AI work, we need to have nav mesh, which check, and we need uh, pawn sensing. So then the AI can sense, can see where the character is. So now the AI roams. So now the AI can walk around and roam. Yay. Okay, we're gonna need some animations because that T-Post sliding, we're gonna need some animations. So I then made an animation blueprint for our AI so then he doesn't slide with the T-Post. So the AI wasn't running with the animation. Reason why was because it was get player character and not try get porn owner. So this blueprint here is so and then your character can pick up things. I never actually got to actually add things to pick up. I never, I just forgot about that. So then I started making the level, the map, Hawkins, uh, the science labs, uh, I'll do Hawkins later. I made the level like the lab from the first episode of Stranger Things, S sort of, it, it looks nothing like it. It's, very simple because 48 hours and many horror games do take this style to make the character uneased. So to save time I just duplicated the first map and made a second. This is the second level, you go through the elevator and then you do the exact same thing again. So I then made a third level which was exterior outside the lab. I imported a 3D mesh of a building from Sketchfab and I wasn't really focusing on graphics, I was just focusing on getting it done, so I just made the level look like forest and the woods. Trees. Grass. And now I finish the game off with that options HUD.
So the game has a lot of 3D models I got from Mixamo or Sketchfab. They'll be in the description, just saying. I don't think the game is that bad, but time is up and I'm not done. The game is playable, but it's, it's looking a little bland and it's missing features and mechanics. For example, at the end I was going to have a gun the character could pick up and shit a swarm of bootleg demogorgons. I was excited to work with ragdoll physics, but I just never got time to do that. So the next game I make, I'm just gonna focus on adding ragdoll physics. So subscribe to see when that comes out. So I hope you guys enjoyed, I'll see you in the next video. See you later. Yeah, next week, ragdoll physics.